Hi everyone. In one of the previous videos, we had discussed the importance of setting goals, especially when your back is to the wall. Now lots of people set goals, they make resolutions, but very few go on to manifest those goals. It is estimated that less than 10% people who set goals of any nature actually go on to accomplish them. What's the reason for that? Let me at this point share with you one of the several things that I do. I am the motivation trainer for Team India for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. In September 2019, I was appointed as the official team motivator for the Senior Wrestling World Championship in Nur Sultan, Kazakhstan. And in that tournament, India won five medals and had four direct Olympic qualifications. In March 2020, last month, I had gone with Team India for the Continental Olympic Boxing Qualifier in Jordan. In our 13 boxers, 9 qualified for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Again, a record for India in any sport in its entire sporting history. I've broken over 100 Guinness World Records. I've written 30 books on motivation especially on the topic of setting goals and accomplishing them. One of those books is Goal Ethics, which is also a new term I've coined, a portmanteau of two words, goal and athletics, or the sport of goals. The reason I'm telling you all this is to share with you that in this momentous journey, in this very rewarding, very educative journey, I've picked a few insights on why some people go on to become accomplishers, those who accomplish their goals, and why some people relegate themselves to being relinquishers, people who give up. The reason is very simple. Most people think about their goals. They wish for those goals to come true. But very few people visualize them. And there's a galactic difference between the two. Thinking about something, as I said, is aspirational, is a wish. In an average lifetime, a person has close to 2 billion thoughts. Research tells us over 80% of them are negative. When we visualize, we actually suffuse ourselves with a positive image of what we intend to accomplish. Let me give you a small example. In the backdrop, the poster that we see is the actual image of the 2020 Tokyo Olympics gold medal. Now among many other athletes that I'm mentoring are two of the highest ranked wrestlers in the world, Deepak Punia and Ravi Dahiya. Deepak Punia is world number two in 86 kg freestyle and Ravi Dahiya is world number four in 57 kg freestyle as of April 2020. When I started working with them as their motivation coach, they were very talented, supremely promising, but somehow they were still on the outer fringes of elite wrestling. So the biggest thing that we did was we printed this image and we put it in multiple locations in their room, 
in their training area, in their shower, in their car, as screensavers on their phone. And we had them, like literally, look at this image, to train themselves to look at this image hundreds of times every day. Over months. The result was that Deepak Punya won the gold medal for his country at the Junior Wrestling World Championship in Estonia in August 2019. And Ravi Daya won the gold medal at the Rome World Ranking Series Tournament in January 2020 and at the Asian Wrestling World Championship in Feb 2020. It was much more than a fluke. They've been surrounding, they've been suffusing themselves with this energy, with this image, with this vision. I will request you all to employ the same technique. Whatever it is that you intend to accomplish, writing a book, knocking off weight, or anything, you could do one of you could do two things. One of them is to print a graphic of what you intend to accomplish. If it's a book, go to this tons of websites where you can design a book cover for free. Go and design a, a cover image for the book that you intend to write. Don't just keep thinking about it. Go, be creative. Not just be contemplative, but be creative. Create an image. Print, take multiple prints of it. And put it in multiple locations, as I said. Not just in one area, but throughout the house, in your work cabin, a small printout in your car. Take a picture, make it your screensaver. If it's a physique that you intend to sculpt, have identify a person who you consider to have the most ultimate physique according to you and print that image paste it on your wall on your walls rather and the second thing that you could do in case you don't have access to a printer right now take a black sheet of paper and write down very specifically what you intend to accomplish. If it's a book, write down, yes, I am the author of XYZ book. Love and Hope, for example. And underneath that, write down, yes, thank you, universe. So what you're doing is you're making it an affirmation. You're making a very specific affirmation of what you intend to accomplish. And you are seeing it hundreds of times every day. You're seeing it and you're speaking these words upon it. You see, our brain is behind our eyes. What we keep seeing, eventually, it won't happen in one day, eventually becomes our reality. So don't just keep sitting on the outer fringes of action. Go out there, plunge into it. Plunge into the act of creation. Either create a graphic poster of your goal. Visualize, envision it, see it over and over, repeatedly, hundreds of times, for months, maybe years. Or, in your own handwriting, write down what you intend to accomplish as an affirmation, which we've incorporated in this poster as well. Yes, I am with the Tokyo 2020 Olympics gold medalist. Yes, thank you, universe. Trust me, this works with precision. And this works unexceptionally. Just do it and you will know what I'm talking about. Yes, thank you, universe.